guys what's up <laughs> so it's your girl um as you guys can tell i look different i look so different yes 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 that's right you guessed it i did the big chop i cut my hair off it's all gone it is in the past it's a thing in the past I'm walking into a new me, a new do, a new year. Yes, 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 I am. So let me just tell you guys what led me up to making this decision. Um, I, I also, I'm going to put in some pictures so you guys can see like the before. Um, and maybe put in some footage so you guys also can see like, you know, the actual cutting of it. And, you know, I was like, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I actually just got this done today. I, um... So I decided to cut my hair because I've been wanting to cut my hair, honestly, for some years. Um, I just, but I just never had the guts to do it. I've always experimented with my hair. Like I would cut into a bob or get layers and things like that. But I've never actually went, you know, all the way, you know, all the way with it. Um, so this time I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm just going to do it. And I was, I'm was i just in a place in my life where, honestly, you know, God is molding me. He's changing me. He's taking me some places. And my hair just couldn't go. My hair couldn't go where it can't go to places I'm going. It just was not the season for the hair. So I, I, I need to just let the hair go. Um, and, you know, just walk into, like, the new, you know, new me, you know, new blessings, new outlooks, new mindsets, new, you know, new journeys. Just, you know, just completely just letting it go because... You know, hair, I feel like we get so wrapped up in hair. We get so wrapped up in, you know, um, you know, what our hair looks like. You know, our hair can sometimes affect our self-esteem. It can, you know, can affect how we view ourselves. We can compare ourselves to other women, especially now with social media. You know, you think, oh, her hair is thick. My hair is thin. Her hair is all curly. My hair is all straight. My hair won't curl. Oh, you know, I got a boss spot in my hair or, you know, whatever, whatever. You know, so I just wanted to just you know, let it go. Let it go. I wanted to just let it go. And it kind of was more of a spiritual thing for me as well, just because um, cutting off my hair was like letting go of my past. It was like letting go of all the baggage, all the things that I, you know, have been, you know, um, holding on to. And I just, I just let it go. Um, and when he cut it, um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Top Floor um, Lounge in Ypsilanti, Michigan. You need to check it out. The stylist there is amazing. His name is Corey and I will link his Instagram um, and his style seat um, down in the, in the description box. So if you guys want to check him out, you know, go ahead and check him out, you know, because he got your girl together. Yes, he did. He's amazing. He's absolutely, absolutely amazing. He's a man of God. And he just, he's, his hands are just blessed. Yes, they are. Um, and also I'm going to tell you about this beat on my face too. <laughs> you know, I got to definitely tell you about that. Um, but yeah, so, um, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was more of like a spiritual decision because I just wanted to just, you know, start over, start over and, um, kind of like a bat baptism of the hair. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Um, so I show him a couple of how I came to the decision on what haircut to do. So I show him um, a couple of pictures of the uh, hairstyles that I wanted. Um, so I showed him about three or four pictures. And what he did was actually combine those hairstyles, which he killed it. But, you know, he combined them because I was like, okay, I want to still be able to look like I just, you know, like I like I just don't have no hair. So I'm rocking a, hair, a short haircut because I ain't got no hair. Um... <laughs> But I, I wanted it to look like, okay, you know, I still got some hair, but I still want to be able to play with it. I don't want it to be too short where I can do nothing with it. But I also want it to be, you know, short enough where I can still let it grow out. And as I'm growing out, I can try different styles and stuff like that. Um, you know, when I say the big chop, um, I know a lot of people think of the big chop as like a relaxer big chop. I've never had a relaxer. I've never put any process or chemicals in my hair. Um, I've had a back box dye once. That's the most I've ever done to my hair in terms of like chemically treating it. So my big chop was just more so of just, you know, I just feel like my hair also just wasn't as healthy as it used to be. Um, you know, I haven't really been taking care of it. Like, you know, I became a mom, you know, during my pregnancy. It was like my hair just completely changed and I still breastfeed. I just feel like my hair just was just different. Like it just, 
you know, it became dry and brittle. And, you know, I just came to a point where it's like, I got so many other things I want to focus on. And my hair is not trying to be one of them. I just, you know, I have so many other things and I want my hair to, you know, I defy my hair, not the other way around. Um, so, so yeah, so that's what the big chop meant for me. Um, so I would say probably my hair was about to my shoulders. Um, like I said, I put some pictures in there so you guys can see what it looked like and to see, you know, the actual transformation. Um, but I would say if you're thinking about cutting your hair, do it, do it. Just do it because hair grows back. Hair grows back. Your hair is going to grow back. Um, yeah, you may look and be like, oh my God, I'm bald. Like when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I'm bald. I'm for real bald. Like ain't no more putting it in a bun because, you know, you woke up late and you got to rush out the house. You know, I mean, I can still just like, I can still do wash and go. It's just going to be shorter. Um, but yeah, so if you think about cutting your hair, just cut it. Just do it. Like live life. You only get one life. You honestly, you only get one life and you don't want to look up and be 60 when you really ain't got no hair then and be like, dang, I should have cut my hair when I was 20 or 25 or 30, you know, so just do it. Um, you know, experiment with your look, um, play with your look, um, you know, step outside of your comfort zone. Um, you know, cause I can even say just right now I have a new attitude. My hair just gives me a new attitude. Like it, it completely changes my style. Now I can throw on a sweater and my hair just makes it just look even more chic. You know, like, it just makes it look, it makes the outfit look like, boom, boom, you know. Um, but yeah, I am absolutely in love with it. I showed my sister and she loved it. Um, and it was just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and then this face, uh, this face. Look, okay, look, first of all, Marvin, you beat my face, okay? If you're watching this, I mean, I do my own face, but he like just killed it. I mean, look at this. Just look at this highlight. Look, look at this bronze. I look like a bronze goddess. Like I look like I just woke up out of bed and like fell into some makeup and was like, boop, like boop, like these eyelashes. I'll show you these eyelashes. These eyelashes are mink. They are mink. Look at that. Mm beautiful y'all i mean just uh, just oh my gosh like i can't even you know describe like what how my face feels my face feels great um My face feels amazing. I love it. I just, I just love it. And this lip color, this brown, this, my face is giving like Kelly Rowan, Tika Sumter. That's what my face is giving with this hair. Y'all, y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm about to be walking down the street. People about to be like, people about to be like, why are you looking like that? I'm about to be like, you don't see me? You would look like that too if you were me, if you were looking like me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um, but yeah, so with that being said, I encourage you to cut your hair. Cut your hair. Whatever you want. If you want to color your hair, color it. If you want to try a new lip color, try it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, I showed my sister. She loved it. Um, my family loves it. I still have to show my other sister um, and my friends and stuff because I wanted to surprise them. Um, but... You know, I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Maybe I record their their expressions and um, their reaction videos, and maybe show you guys what they thought or vlog it or something. Um, but yeah, well, I thank you guys so much for once again for tuning into my channel, for supporting me. Can't wait to you know show different hairstyles and you know what I do to rock my short hair. Um, you know, share that with you guys because I'm definitely about to be doing some you know short hair videos and stuff. Um, you know how to how how to take care of it maintenance and everything like that um you know oh oh just 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 look how i look when i just pushed it to the side like that oh took your girl to a whole nother left y'all look seriously oh this is just too much it's just beautiful it's too beautiful oh i didn't show y'all the back let me show you guys the back so this is the back 
this is what the back looks like. And I already had I already had an undercut, so he kind of just blended that in together. Um, show y'all the side. What the side looks like from this angle. From this angle. <laughs> but um. But yeah, so I will catch you guys in my next video. Much love. Mm -hmm.